Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. And thank you guys so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel, we're heading back to the Masters line for three more figures of the new Eternia line. We'll look at new Eternia Ram Man right here in the packaging. I do, we'll look at the packaging. Of course, I do have a loose version of Ram Man, which is a much closer look. We'll look at the artwork as well. Uh, we'll also look at Deluxe figure of Too Bad from the new Eternia line. I do have a loose version of him. And also, I do have, I will also look at the new Eternia, he just came out not too long ago, of the Man at Arms figure we just did on the channel. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a loose version of him, and I'm not going to unbox him, unfortunately, guys. I, I apologize for that. I did unbox him um, in my original review on him, if you would like to go back and check that out and see a much closer look at Ram Man. I'm sorry, of, not Ram Man, of Man at Arms, my apologies. Um, because every time I unbox him and remove him from the packaging, it damages the box. So until I get my secondary, uh, man-at-arms from the new attorney line, I'm going to keep mine in the box, unfortunately. But we'll still look at the figure in the box. Of course, look at his amazing artwork as well, and we'll go from there, guys. And, of course, at the end of the video, guys, if you stay tuned, I will show you another, uh, Master Universe Funko Pop in the collection. Alright, so I hope you stay tuned for that. Alright, so here we go, guys. We have the deluxe figure of Ram Man, the Target exclusive. You have the 30 points of matriculation, the Masterverse right there. Comes with two amazing head sculpts right there. This is the head sculpt that I do prefer right there on my figure. Classic Ram Man look right there. Looks absolutely amazing. Of course, his vintage power axe right there. His extra harness right there as well. A couple of pairs of hands. You have the new Eternia, the new Eternia logo, Master Universe, Ram Man. A nice glamour shot right there of the figure. And as, like I said before, I do prefer this look of Ram Man. Of course, this look here is more is very similar to the Origins Lux figure right there. Of course, you have the, the classic vintage Ram Man. Very, very cool. Around the back. A nice glamour shot of him in action right there. Of course, this is the new attorney line, the original designs inspired by classic concepts that has finally, you know, come to life. Of course, the cross of the other figures in the line right there. And I've done reviews of all of them, and, and we just did reviews for a new attorney of Faker and Buzz Off not too long ago, about a couple days ago. Of course, the other side, this says Ram Man, the human battering ram. All right, there we go. So one of the coolest characters right there. Of course, I do have a loose version of him. And this is how I, there he is. There's a good old Ram Man right there. I feel, like, I feel like his look right here, he's about to weld something. He's in his welding outfit here with the glass, with the goggles and stuff like that. Very cool. Now, unfortunately, he does not spring. He does not spring loaded. But I do like the fact, if you do have a loose version of this particular Ram Man, that if you see right there, they kind of give us that that vintage little button right there. If you remember in the classics, I mean, the classics or even the '80s version, that when you pressed him down, he stayed locked in place. And then when you press the button right here, which it would like have him pop up and ram something. I like the fact that they included that in the figure here. This little button right here on the boot right here. I thought that was a nice little touch that, you know, Mattel did. And, of course, you know, this is one of the, you know, figures, as you can see, that I was able to put the harness around, you know, properly without having to, like, rip it or anything like that. So, it, so this is a pretty good harness right here. I do like the fact that I can, you know, wrap it around his body and, and, and secure it properly. So I like that. I do have a little little scuffing right here on my figure here, a little little paint missing right here. But all a very cool Ram Man, you know. This is you know the look I like right here. Something new, something fresh, you know, something different about Ram Man. I like you know this whole outfit here. I like that. You know this head sculpt right here too is pretty cool as well. But like I say, it's got like, that that origins feel to it, you know. So, I mean, it, 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 I mean, it's up to you guys, you know, how you would like to display your Ram Man. Alright. Put him right there. 
All right, let's take a look at Man at Arms here. This is a much newer release, and we just got him just not too long ago. And I did a, a review on him about a couple weeks ago, almost a month ago. But there is the packaging. Of course, the new box art right here, you, as you can see, you've got the you know, 30 points of articulation as, as well. The updated, and I do prefer this updated Masterverse logo here. Colorful, bright, right there. It's got that vintage, you know, 80s feel and, of course, the Origins feel to it right there with all the rocks exploding around it right there. Very cool. The figure himself right there. A nice glamour shot of the figure in the front of the packaging right there. In action. Of course, this is our third uh, Man at Arms that has come out. Of course, we, you know, we got a few other ones. And I'm hoping... That with the movie versions of, you know, figures that are coming, like He-Man, we've got He-Man, we've got Skeletor, uh, we have Evil In coming very soon, and of course we've got Orko and, and Grildor, part of the movie universe. Uh, if we will get the movie version of Duncan, or Man at Arms, for Tila, possibly, so hopefully we'll, you know, might get that as well, but nice glamour shot of the figure. Of course, you know, you know how I feel about the box art right here, I mean the packaging right here, the bubble here is much smaller. But you can still see the figure right there. It's got that Lords of Power feel to it with the helmet right there. Of course, his mace right there. Some artwork right there. Beautiful as always. Of course, the the, uh, the Eternia Palace Guard right there. Man at Arms right there. All new packaging right here. This particular wave. There you go. There's a nice glamour shot right there. And in the, in the box, when if you watch the video... Then when I unboxed, I unboxed it and I kept him in the in the uh, uh, the plastic prison. But he comes with three extra head sculpts, guys, which is pretty cool. These two right here, and one without a helmet at all, which I thought was really cool. I do I did like that. So when I do get my secondary uh, man at arms, I gotta first see which packaging is better. Because as you can see, it's starting to rip right here, and I don't want to damage it any further. So that's why I'm not gonna box it, guys. So I'm sorry about that. Comes with a really cool added feature right there with a little ball and chain right there to his club right there. Of course, the back of it right there. A nice shot of the figure here. You know, the artwork display the, the toy right there, the figure itself, and the cartoon background, which I thought was pretty cool. There's his mace right there. A nice, really cool shot of, of vintage 80s version of Man at Arms without the mustache. I thought that was a nice touch. Of course, the cross sell of the other figures. And pretty soon, we'll look at New Eternia Trapjaw. A, a favorite of mine. I do like this version of Trapjaw. I can't wait for that uh, Cartoon Classics filmation style Trapjaw to come out very soon. Alright. Of course, the other side, he's got the Battle Ram right there. he got the Wind Raider right there. So I do love the new box art. I just wish, like I said in that in that review of these this line here, guys, you know, um, that the window box was a little bit bigger. We can see a little bit more of the figure. All right, put him off the side right here. Right. And finally, guys, we'll take a look at the mini deluxe figure of the new Eternia. I found him at Target. I think he's still like, like Ram Man. For the most part, I think he's also a, a Target exclusive mini deluxe figure of, of Too Bad right here. There he is. Of course, once again, you got the 30 points of articulation. The Masters logo. As you can see, like I, I do like you can see the difference. You know, I love the the new packaging here. It's amazing. But you can see the big, you know, the big window box here. And I guess he did that to give it more artwork. But I just wish, like I said, you know, it's not a, it's a little nitpick. You know, I can get over it. You know, it's still an amazing, you know, figure. But I just wish, like, the box art was just a little bit bigger. But, you know, because I'm, I'm used to seeing the Master's line with this big bubble here. And you can see the full figure and all his weapons and stuff like that he comes with. But there he is. There's too bad right there. Of course, I'm not sure if we, will, we might get him in Origins. Uh, I've been seeing, we see artwork of him, of too bad, on a couple of packagings and, and play sets and vehicles. You know, he is a, you know, a, a very cool character. Comes with a big old battle axe, a shield, extra pairs of hands for both of the figures right there. 
a gun and two clubs very very cool of course a nice glamour shot of the figure right there very cool there he is very i love the artwork here i think he's like taking on like some sort of kraken like maybe him and merman are not seeing eye to eye right now and merman's trying to take him down possibly of course the cross sell the other figures and i will be doing a review as well very soon of new turnia stratos so stay tuned for that guys and i've done reviews for all these guys as well on the channel if you'd like to go back and check them out please do and thank you for doing that all right back around all right of course i do have a loose version of him there he is a big bulky figure but he's not as heavy um as like the new attorney version of beast man okay he's light you know believe it or not he's very light you know if you do have this you know, in this you know this figure in your collection loose i'm surprised how light he is i don't you know beast man well you know he's, he's got a bulkier heavier feel to him uh, but this one's not too bad, you know. Very cool. This can rotate if you wish, you know. Pistol right there. The shield, his battle axe. Now, I do believe, you know, in classics mode and vintage mode and stuff like that, that they kind of swapped, um, not heads, but the height of... He's normally, like, taller on the figure and he's much shorter so they kind of did a like a swap here i do believe i think i saw that on a uh a, another review on him which i thought was pretty cool and you can like like you can swap the heads if you wish to you can always swap the heads off and pop him on here and him there. so yeah anything it's like the, the whole masterverse line the whole origins line you know it's all customization it's how you wish to display your figures and and make them as cool as possible. You know, it's it's up. You know, it's your imagination. And of course, you know, another like another great example of the fact that you know, the harness is on there properly, which I like. Really cool belt right there as well. I believe the belt can be removed as well if you wish. Big old battle axe right there. Let me bring it up here. So, very cool figure. And I hope, like I said, I do hope we do get him in Origins, guys. I think that would be a great Origins uh, figure. Alright, I'm putting him right here. On this side right here. Put Ram in more on this guy right here. And there's two bad right here. Once again, there's a shot of all the figures right there. And hopefully very soon, guys, I will get my secondary uh, Man-at-Arms. And out of all three Man-at-Arms, guys, from the first wave to his much more, like, older, like, um, banishment figure, you know, which I do, you know what, let me, let me show you, the, you know, if anybody's new to the channel, let me show you the, the two other versions of, of, of Man-at-Arms. Give me one second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, thank you for waiting. So, like I said, let me get the kind of the light out of, out of them right there. There we go. So, like I said before, anybody who's new to the channel or who's new to the line and stuff like that, the Masters line, and starting to collect this particular line, um, this is our third version of Duncan here. Of course, we've gotten, you know, this version right here. You can see a much similar looking Duncan right there, as you can see. It's more de you know, it's, you know it's more detail on this version right there and the chest plate right there a little bit compared to his version right here. I think this is like his first version right there. You see the club's slightly different as well. Then we got the mini deluxe version of Duncan, a much older version, a, a more he's been banished from the kingdom. The kingdom the king had banished him from the from the kingdom. Stripped him of his title when he found out what was going on with Prince Adam and He-Man. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the Revelation show. 
But there you go. Nice shot of all three ran uh, Duncans right there in the Master's Line. And I do hope we do get that movie version of Duncan. But as you can see, there's all three versions of Duncan right there of the Master's Line. And every part here, guys, you can swap out and change out and customize it how you wish to have your Duncan explain, um, displayed, which I do like. Just put these guys over here real fast. All right, guys. There you go. One more shot of all the figures before we close up. Right there, we got new uh, the two bad figure from Eternia. Ram Man, a very cool character and one of my favorites right there. And we have all three versions. And hopefully very soon I'll get a loose version of Duncan or Man at Arms right here. All right, guys. I'd like to take the time now to show you my my latest um, or my next Funko Pop right here. Of course, I have Blast Attack right here. There he is. I'm not. I think was he announced as one of the, another Origins figure? Let me know in the comments if Blast Attack will be in, in Origins, guys. I thought he was. Like with Extendar and Blast Attack and, and Rock On or Stonar, I think his name is. Let me know on the, if, if Blast Attack was also going to be part of Origins or even the Masters line. But there you go. There's Blast Attack. The Toy Tokyo San Diego Comic Con uh, 2020 Limited Edition right there. Nice shot of the figure right there. I never owned this figure back in the day. He came out very, I believe, came out very late in the toy line. And I kind of moved on from He-Man. And he was collecting other things or like playing you know, with other stuff. Whereas, there it is. Nice cross out of the figures in this line right here. Blast attack. Alright guys, let's take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and haven't subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys. All things Masters of the Universe, like the Masters line here, like the new cartoon collection. I just put out my final figure so far in the cartoon collection of Skeletor. I've done all four figures, and hopefully very soon I'll be doing an unboxing of Skeletor and Man at Arms. You know, Duncan, he's pretty popular right now. Uh, we'll do an unboxing very soon when I get my secondary figures. So please, well, you know, subscribe and hit that notification bell when you know when you know I upload those videos. Um, from the of course, you know, you know, we do like we talk about all things in He-Man, like of course Masterverse, uh, the original Origins line to the new cartoon collection. Hopefully, the very soon the Turtles of Grey Skull line to the CGI line to Funko Pops and stuff like that. Uh, we also do the Masters of the WWE Universe. That, of course, is a crossover event that happened back in 2019 through 2021, I believe. That was He-Man figures. I mean, it was WWE figures in the world of Eternia. So it was kind of like a crossover, like the first crossover kind of event. Like with the Turtles of Grayskull. So we'll be, we do videos on that as well. To the Superstars line. Uh, hit that like button, guys. That thumbs up. And thank you for doing that, guys. It helps me out a lot. It helps me grow my channel. helps me get my channel out there. For people to watch and view and hopefully subscribe and make our community bigger and really, you know, kick ass. So thank you for doing that, guys. You know, it helps me out a lot. So thank you for you know, hitting that like button. Of course, hit that notification bell when you know, upload new videos. Of course, tomorrow we'll look at more figures of the new Eternia line on Sunday. So I can't wait for that, guys. Uh, share this video, guys, for anyone who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe. Like the Master First line here. Like the Origins line, the original Origins line, and now the new cartoon collection. To the CGI line, to the 80s, to Mondo, of course, Funko Pops, and Super 7, and, you know, the new adventures of He-Man, to 2000X, you know, to the now uh, the cartoon collection, to the, you know, Turtles of Skull, You know, for over 40 years, guys, 40 years going strong and going to keep going. So, guys... I hope you guys have a great Saturday, and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Take care, guys, and have a good one.